Let's just keep freaking going! What the heck is up? Let's keep this party going, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck did I make? Is that safe? Something I mixed was not supposed to be shaken together. And I'm gonna drink it anyway. <laughs> you know? I was wondering why my whiskey sour didn't look, it didn't look like it was frothy. What's weird with the weird set? We just turned it, we just turned it over 37 degrees, brother. That way you can see the blind flight. We got a blind flight here. And I wanted you to be able to see it, you know? Yeah? Try something a little different. It's it's basically the same. I mean this is look, this is normal. Yeah. You don't you don't like it? You don't like it? We have there's no tornadoes, we're good. Dark mood lighting? Come on, man! <laughs> Everyone just picking us apart. Is that better? I think it looks good on my screen. Maybe I need to move this over here. What's it look like? Still looks good. What do y'all are dark? You're dark. Maybe your eyes are ruined. You know, is this better? Happy Friday, everyone! Let's freaking go! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, no joke, like, what? Are there tornadoes? What's up, Derek? I mean, it's just, it, this is, I don't know, man. I think we're good. It looks good. Y'all need to freaking, y'all need to focus and lock it up, baby. Get some, get, drink something. I'm kind of scared to drink this. Have you ever known, have you ever shaken a drink? This is not supposed to look like that. But I, I used one ingredient that I've never used and I shook it and I think that's what it's doing. It doesn't taste as near as bad as it looks. I mean, it looks not good. It looks dangerous. Um, it tastes fine. It tastes totally fine. So let's go. What are you guys up to? Happy freaking Friday. We're here. Might be a little dark. You know? I mean, but it's fine. Who got in here? Janelle is in here. She says, hit that like button on your way in. 
I, I want to see 100 likes on this stream tonight. If we don't, then I'm sending Malort to everyone. Every one of you is getting Malort. Period. Roy, doing cocktails. Dude, I saw you pop in here before the stream started, and that was like, Breb is about to do a cocktail. So I went to go get my whiskey sour that turned it, it clearly didn't turn out good. I need your cocktails. Chris Buzalencia from Biloxi, Wilmington Piper. Erica P. Happy Friday. Let's go. What's up? Troy. Never said your name like that, but I feel like that's the way I need to say it. What's up, Troy from Baker Drinks? Slap shot. What's up, nerd? Josh Fritz. Evening, Jake Kautza. Good to see you guys, as always. Mr. Mom, greeting from the great state of Texas. I'm back in the homeland. What part of Texas, brother? Trying to get this just, it's really unappetizing looking. Clearly Trev does not do cocktails. I do not know what I did wrong. I mean, it tastes, it's getting better. There we go. There we go. That's getting better. Getting better. Getting better. Pito Vice. Tony Pack of Donuts. I'm late, so I don't have to do push ups. Remember, everyone, you have like 10 minutes to get in here, or you owe push ups. This <laughs> is just the way it is. I don't make the rules. Except for I do. What's up, Tim? Black Fisher. There's the other Anthony. That's 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 a legend right there. He's seeing that like button go up. Daniel Barry Sports highlights. Happy Friday. Truman, John and Dean, good to see you guys. Andrew Kelly, let's freaking go. What's everyone drinking? I got Blue Run High Rye. So tonight, the agenda. It's just uh, typical old shenanigans. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this delicious whiskey sour that I made. Um, and then again, we have a Miss Wrench Blind Flight, AKA, she went and grabs four bottles. She always, she, I don't know why. I wish she was here so we could ask this question. Really hates pouring a blind for me. She's like, it's like, I don't know if she's just scared to touch the bottles, but she really does not like them or like doing the blind. Um, it's like, it's like I'm asking her, just, hey, you want to drink Malort with me? You know, she just acts like it's such a bad thing. But we got one. We got a blind. Um, refine the refine the skills. Um, already reviewed. Uh, we did a. When was that? Was that yesterday? <laughs> Woo we. Sometimes you just get a little slammered on a Thursday, but we did a little Patreon stream last night. It, it really feels like a long time ago, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we went hard, man. We went hard and. We're here. So shout out to the Patreon crew. Mike Conklin. The Bourbon Jerka. Caledrams. More commercials. Joe Dickinson, I'm going to recommend you something, dude. Because I, I, I feel like I have them off. Monetization's on. Ads Automator is off. But something I highly recommend, if you guys watch as much YouTube as I do, I did YouTube Premium, finally, like after years. I, I simply will never go back. Like the amount, you really don't notice. I mean, I guess Joe Dickinson definitely notices the ads. Uh, <laughs> you really don't notice until they're off. But then it's like, holy crap, I haven't seen a commercial and freaking, it's awesome. It's, just, it's great. And you can, you can, you can pull up a YouTube video. You can shut your phone off. You know how YouTube doesn't let you do that? YouTube Premium does. Heck. David 13.1. Rick. See what works for you, Trip says. Blinko, dude. Amps a freaking lootly. Everything must always be the same, says Andrew Kelly. There is no change. Uh, where are we at? Baker drinks. Oh, shoot. It just scrolled way down. 
Gosh dang it. Ain't afraid of no naders. Let's go. What's up, Will T from the parking lot? Bourbon Hunter. Not drinking yet. Traveling to see friends near St. Louis. Brought the maker's pick I did with Whiskey Row with me to crack. There you go. Bro, you know, man, maker's picks, like going on the pick is like, it, it, those are hard to beat. Period. What up, wag? Where's the Friday at Fred's crew? Let's go! Follow 27. Good afternoon, brother. Brandon at Fred's. Let's freaking go. I always like to pull up the Instagram right before I go live because the Friday at Fred's crew is like always. I didn't do it today. We got to see what they're drinking. They post like every Friday. Like what they're drinking. Yeah, two hours ago, they've started. <laughs> Freaking love it. Oh, they got some goodies. Got some coffee, too. Let's freaking go. I want some coffee. What's up, Rick? What's up, Donnie? Mash that like button. Donnie! Donnie's here! James Lay, nerds! What's up, James and JG Sugget? Chad Guzinski, let's light this friggin' candle. <laughs> I'm so freaking lootly. You heard him, nerds. Nobody else hit the like. <laughs> you all want Malort, baby. What's up, guy Davis? What's up, Whiskey Rocks? Krista G. Hey, what's up, Krista? The the incredibly it's like a thousand times better half okay the freaking JG <laughs> uh, 100 likes for Trev to consume copious amounts of Malort I have, I have had Malort in a while right I need some Malort in my life Woo! what's up top shelf does now the heck have you been brother Hello, darkness, my old friend. Smoking fire water. I should not sing. I should not sing. They're going to find me. Bottle killing Glenn Farkless 25. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds fancy. Derek Julin. Eagle Rare Pick. Here, there you freaking go. Man, I still... I still say... That big old eagle... We hit... When we hit, how many likes are at? When we hit, the, the big eagle going to come out. We got to get that eagle soaring, baby. The big eagle needs to fly its nest. She probably doesn't want to feel judged on her bottle choices. I really think she just doesn't know half of what they are, to be honest. She knows, like, Maker's Mark for us. That's why I'm always like, I feel like I know she's going to pour the same things every, every time. But I try and reiterate to her, like, I don't know, move a bottle and grab the one in the back instead of just the first thing you see. Who knows? Maybe she gets brave and she really throws me a curveball. I don't know. What's up, Cheech? YouTube Premium is the only way to go. I'm telling you. It's just, it's so, so much better. Like, it, it's just ridiculous. You don't have to worry about the ads and all that crap. I'll never go back to normal YouTube again. I've been premium over a year. Yeah, I'm, I'm on like one week. So. What's up, Kathy? That looks like a healthy ice ball. Oh, dude. I got, I got the ice square maker. And I have a singular ice ball maker. So I have a bunch of cubes going at a time. And then I got the... Look at that. That is freaking nice. For a cheap old thing. I, I'm pretty sure I figured out how to do it, too. I've been winging it. Experimenting, you know? I got it good. Ah. I kind of want to try a whiskey on ice just to see what the heck happens. What do we get? What's good on ice? 
Is there a good whiskey to go on ice? What's up, Ma Marty? What's up, Bill? Bill Reynolds, the legend. <laughs> What's up, brother? Duke Mc freaking hail. Cheech doing a little better each day. Still some challenges ahead for my right hand. I'll know more next week when I meet with the orthopedic surgeon. Hey, let me know what they find out, bro. I work. I I work in orthopedic surgery, brother. Would you screw up a freaking tendon or something? What's up, Jeffrey Sir Whack Attack? We need to practice trip round two ahead of us soon. Are we doing it? This, are we doing it Monday? Is it this Monday? I don't know. Or is it the next Monday? I don't know. That's that's why I'm practicing now, dude. We don't need practice, Whack. If we go, if we keep attacking this the way we have been, there's no chance that anyone's gonna beat us. It's like you're so not confident that we're crushing. You know? What's up, J H H H H? -H. Freaking whatever. Happy Friday, about to sneak a flask into my nephew's baseball game. Cheers. You know, I did that once and I got yelled at. <laughs> Log story. Um, you know what else I've done before? And I swear to you, I swear to you, I took a Gatorade. Um, it was like a uh, the or or the green type of old school Gatorade, like squeeze. So you'd squeeze it and it would shoot out, right? I literally filled that up with like beer and brought it in. So I'm over there like <laughs> squeezing beer. <laughs> um, another thing that I love to do, um, you know, I'll bring a flask into the baseball game. I won't tell you which one in case they're watching. Um, you know, bring a flask in and then shoot. I'll like go buy a Dr. Pepper or something and then go to the bathroom and just fill that up. You know, make me a freaking a mixed drink for two bucks versus ten. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys the... You guys know. Come on, what's up, just good old me? Been a while. Hope everyone's having a good Friday. It's been a freaking week. What's up, Paul? Uh, Patty Cakes? Get on in here, everyone. Say hello. Say what you're drinking. What's in your glass? What are you up to? Yes, just good old me. I was literally talking about... I was... When I say talking about it, I was literally to myself right before the stream um there's a couple of you guys i owe the freaking glasses and i'll get them back to you i think there's like three or four of you bourbon nerd lftp what up high proof your camera angle seems different but i'm on my second port uh, it is i am crooked huh Here. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's better. Man, these songs are slapping tonight. Dang, hit that like button and get something in your glass. Woo! What's up, wise guys? Strength and freaking knowledge. Fix up some chicken flatbreads for the family. Let's go. Ice balls. High proof. I don't want to start with high proof, but Grooman says Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof, not Creek 120. Blue note barrel would be in. I know what I'll pour on that. I'll pour a little bit of this on there um, because sure I've talked about this before but again I'm gonna say it the desert cult um, Noah texted me right before the stream and asked me about this um, 
This is... This is just Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger. It's rebranded. It's now in a clear bottle. And called the Desert Colt. And it's cheaper. Which is... Uh, it's kind of crazy. How is it already cheaper? It was already cheap, now it's cheaper. We'll just do a little bit. I want to see how... It, like. I don't drink on ice. But I kind of want to see. My cease and desist was waiting for me when I got home from the doctor today. Happy weekend. Let's freaking go, Joe the Sample guy. Um, yeah, they there was something. I've, I've had a couple people message say they went and ordered either a second one or whatever. But they ordered it sometime this month. And there was a little bit of a delay getting those out. I'm, so, I'm glad they're, they're showing up. What's up, Scott Moody? They were switching, I think they were um, switching something up um, with the, uh, I don't even know. I, I don't know, I'm not freaking, I don't know. They were switching something. Um, speaking of, speaking of barrel picks, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this right now because I'm, I'm so stoked. Um, the bull run picks, we are about to drop those son of a biscuits. And we have some samples coming from um, King's Family Distillery in Tennessee. And I'm so stoked. We doing a pick with them mother suckers. My bottle didn't come with an awesome sticker. I have noticed that too. Uh, some people have not been getting the stickers, and I think what we've been doing, I'll have to get the exact, the, the contact information so hard. We're going to have to, like, streamline this in a way, because it's confusing. Write this stuff down. Stickers. Four picks. That, that'll remind me. Most people are getting them, some are not. And I, it's weird. Like, I think it's just an error thing, but... Um, anyway, King's Family Distillery. Woo! And we got... There's a lot. Right? There's freaking... They're sending us samples of, like, just crazy stuff. So there's no telling what we're going to end up with. Not bad. See? Now with the angle, you can't see what I'm drinking. Now you can. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going to do it periodically. I'm just going to switch the camera angle every so often. Here. Yes, 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 yes. Justin and Kara are good people. Kings are awesome. Still hard for me to fathom. They're doing what they're doing from their hometown people doing good i'm telling you guys i'm not gonna spoil it I'll, let me count i'm gonna this is gonna be crazy because i imagine knowing us we will do multiple picks um we're getting one two three four five different five different types am i crooked been trying to fix it, Eric. I think it's you. Dude, that looks good to me. <laughs> um, anyway, the whole sticker, going back to the sticker thing too, I'll figure out who to, I'll tell you exactly who to email. Maybe you need to do the, there's a help thing to send an email. I think they've been sending them out. The people who didn't get them. That camera can't fix Trev. Bro, I'm broken. Bro! That's all there is to it. Going mid shelf with some Walcott Wreck Walcott Wreck House Reserve. What's up, Ed? Driving, saw you come on live and had to watch. You are still crushing it, Ed, dude. How the heck are you, dude? 
It's always good hearing from you, man. I know you're freaking... What's the word? How, how, how should I phrase this? Shaping and molding some fine individuals. <laughs> Haven't had anything since this morning. We were on the road. Oh, you meant... <laughs> I'll get a pour after I eat. You could also take that as I haven't had anything to drink since the morning. <laughs> What's up, Daniel Sutherland? Good to see you, buddy. Get on in here. Kevin motherfucking Campbell. Bone. I am really reading things. I am not right. Boy done been married a month and he's already letting himself go to shit. <laughs> It's been a wild ride. What's up, Joey P? Sipping on some Nash Tucky nine year. There you go. I'm pretty sure I tried some Nash Tucky. Someone sent me a sample of Nash Tucky. And it was good. I think that was Eric. I think I think Gundison sent me some Nash Tucky. I know he gets a lot of that stuff. Anna Falk. Happy Friday. Knob Creek 12 for me. My Knob Creek 12 is freaking dead. He's ready to die. So, what's up, James motherfucking B? So, I think what I'm going to do for this flight, we're going to get into the flight, and then later um, we'll just drink whatever the heck we want. I think I'm going to do it different. I think I'm just going to go one, one at a time. Since it is from my collection, I'm just gonna one at a time and just that's what we're sipping. We're gonna sip it, say, figure everything else we wanna say about it, and then move on. And then at the end, we're done. There is no going back and forth. We're just enjoying pours and we get what we get. That's what I'm doing. So, one at a time. We have four samples over here and I'm going one at a time. That's what we're doing. We're gonna chat, we're gonna hang out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna figure everything I can about this. There, it, the rules are it came from back here. Okay. I just want to drink bourbon, and hang out with you guys. That's what we're doing. But I also got to do you know we got to practice a little bit. James B got your bottle. There we go. James B. So we went from being the state that would get elijah craig barrel proof first right it's like um we used to get it all the time first i haven't seen them ever since c923 haven't seen i have still not even seen that one and then now i haven't seen the a124 larceny haven't seen those either so i don't know if distributions changed wasn't that a horror film? It came from back there. <laughs> it came. Dude, it came from over there. Like that's scary. Like what? Look at this. Like what is back there? It's just terrifying. We will be watching Escape from New York tonight over on Whiskey Encore Discord. It starts at midnight Eastern. Everyone's welcome. So if you guys are in the Discord, speaking of Discord, I need to create a daggum. I have Discord, but not like for Bourbon Ranch stuff. I need to create a Discord. That'd be fun. I have Discord to play video games and stuff, but... All right, let's get in this flight. Let's mother freaking go. Okay. Okay. I will say, I, <laughs> I'm going into this knowing that Miss Wrench did this. You know? I will say, this doesn't smell like her normal what she goes to. You know, it's like, this isn't, it's very nutty. Peanut butter-esque. Nutty. Peanut butter. Kind of like a Cracker Jack type thing. So I'm already leaning on like 
She picked all the pretty labels. <laughs> where's the Where's the pretty bottles at? <laughs> Got that good music going tonight. A mother Of course we did. Oh. That's easy. That's Heaven Hill of some sort. It's crazy how easy things are when it comes from your cabinet. And I say that, it's only the first one. That is like Heaven Hill written all over it. But I don't know. Now I gotta think which one out of the ones I have. I got all the larcenies. I got... Um, and it's too good. So it's not the Evan Williams line. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Because it's better. It's pretty good. The, the palette's definitely better than the nose. Not drinking high proof. That's not larceny barrel proof at all. Maybe it's just larceny. I got a larceny store pick. Larceny, maybe? Which would make it 90... What are those? 92 proof? I'm gonna try and not look back there. How many bottles does she have to choose from? Well, I have this cabinet open, too. So she very well could have pulled it out of that cabinet. Um, but everything back here, there's a couple hundred. Several hundred. Bottled, ooh, Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond might be a great. Because it doesn't drink that high of proof, but it also isn't, I feel like 92, it's, it can't be larceny. I cheated, I'm looking. I don't have... I was gonna say Henry McKenna, but I'm pretty sure I finished my Henry McKenna. So I was like, that would be a good one. That's gotta be what it is. I bet you that's, I'm gonna put a little star next to it. I'm feeling that one. That might be it. Time to kill a maker's pig. Let's go, brother. Kill it. You said peanut butter sounds like uh, Jim Beam. I mean, there's something about this that I'm definitely, I'm definitely leaning more towards the Heaven Hill than the Jim Beam. I, I started thinking, I smelled the nuttiness and I started thinking Jim Beam, but there's like this note on, like I got a lot of budget beam stuff and there's a note that I get on them that I just don't like and I'm not getting it here. Screwball? <laughs> I don't have screwball. No, I th it's got to be. I'm really feeling the heaven hell. Ezra! I do have an e I have a couple Ezra's. And one of... I have the Ezra that's 99. That might... Dude. Now we're... I, it's going to be between one of those. I'm just feeling it. I bet you it's either Ezra, um, whatever that bottle's called, it's 99 proof, or the Heaven Hill bottled and bond. See, Joe says Heaven Hill is that herbal tobacco peanut shell note. There's something about the Jim Beam. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a, a cheap Jim Old, Jim Old Beam. And I'm telling you, man, there's something that I just downright don't like. Pretty sure it's Makers 101. If that's Makers 101, then I will give you my channel, Eric. There's no way. I don't know. Now I'm throwing myself off because it is. It's kind of... The more I go back to it, it is... It's like... It's drinking lesser and lesser proof. Hmm. Hmm. 
What's up, Sir Donald Rants? Poured myself a gold rush. What is that? What's the breakdown on that sucker? What's up, Mike? Oh my god, it's the legend, Mike Franklin. And I can definitely taste the wheat funk in Larceny Barrel Proof. I mean, that very well could be... I'm going to have to stick with it. I don't think... I'm leaning more towards the Heaven Hill than I am the Ezra, but it could very well be... And I'm saying this, so when it is Ezra, we can go back and you can make fun of me. But I'm going to lean towards the Heaven Hill. I don't know if that was such a good call. Whoever said the Heaven Hill bottled and bond, I'm stealing it. I wrote Heaven Hill down... That's what I'm going to go with. Um, I think it's just, it's not weedy enough to be the Lars name, so I think that's out. And the Ezra, I don't know, I haven't had that one in a while, so it could be that one. Uh, let me score it. How about this? I'm going to score that. Blind. Because whatever it ends up being, I think it's good. I don't think it was overly good. Um, I mean, what's like, I don't know how we should grade this out of 10. Or out of a hundred. I would say that was like a 75 out of a hundred. I think we should do it out of a hundred. Like you're take you're taking a test. In my in my grade book, under a 75, you basically failed, but um the 60s mediocre. Maybe you did pass in high school, but I would call that a 75. It was good. It was good, not great. Not anything to write home about. It seems to me like just a better version of, um, like, Evan Williams is what it reminded me of. Like, I liked it a lot more the first sip, and the more I drank it, it just kept getting, like, more and more mediocre. <laughs> you know? It was like, ah, whatever. 75 out of 100. Heck yeah. That's how we're going to do this tonight. I'm done. Like, that's done. I'm done. And I already gave it a 75 out of 100. That's how we're going to rank this. Because whichever one has the highest score won. You know, wins. Right? I like this. What's up, JH? Top dog. And if you get it wrong, Malort shot. Why don't you try matching the bottles? This is... That is poor a couple you think it is and see if they're the same. I mean, I, I could. I think it depends on whatever you guys want to see. I had to lean over because your comment was behind the camera. <laughs> Bourbon, lemon juice, honey syrup, fantastic. Ooh, that sounds good. It kind of just sounds like a... It kind of like a freaking... Just a whiskey sour but with some honey. That's good. Hit the like button. Everyone, if you forgot to do so, you're wrong. Do push-ups and hit the like button. That's all there is to it. Ciao, Trev. Como esta? What's up, Joe? Do push-ups. You're freaking late. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Uh, Joe the Sample Guy says, loving this cease and desist. Um, uh, yeah. I bought, for, I have, I have two more spares already. I freaking love that bottle, dude. All right, let's move on to B. Cooking chili. Let's go. Happy Friday, guys. I'm glad you... You know, I never say this often enough, but I'm really glad you guys choose to chill... Chill. I wasn't trying to say that. Chili with me. <laughs> uh, come hang out on a freaking Friday night. Every freaking Friday. So, this one's for you. Okay. Drastically different from the first one. And that first smell was, I feel like, it's detriment to help me pinpoint where this is from. 
it was so medicinal. It it smelled like cough syrup. Of course, now it's getting better. So now it's throwing me off. But that first smell, I got to remember, it was like super cherry. Medicinal. Like that's the first thing that popped right out. It's definitely it's definitely better now. Definitely better now. But in case I get stumped, I feel like that could make help me guess. That'll help me guess. I can just make something up, you know. I made some Mexican pizzas tonight. What is that? What are, else are a bunch of married dudes going to do on a Friday night? Go to strip clubs, go to kids' ball games, cuddle with our wives and watch Twilight? No! We hang with Trev. Dude, I feel honored. Like, yeah, what's that? What's a bunch of married dudes do? Huh? What? Oh, you're, you're, you're married too? Nice lawn, bro. Yard's looking pretty good, Bill. <laughs> Man, what are you cooking? I smell your grill. Um, <laughs> we'll be over there in 15. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. I said, like, that first smell, I was like, oh, I've got to be Buffalo Trace. That's good. No. <laughs> this is actually good. Yeah, the cherry note's not there. It might have just been... Yeah, I wish I would have saved it now. Let me smell the remnants. Oh, yeah, I think it was coming off of Heaven Hill. I'm not getting that anymore. Hmm. That's so much better. There is such this, like... There's an oaky character. There's, like, this oaky thing. You know when you drink, like, a Knob Creek... I always call Knob Creek Super Chari. You know how you drink like a Knob Creek 12? And it's like you almost taste like as if the whiskey itself had gotten a little bit burnt. You know? I kind of get that on that one. And it's freaking good. But it's not like... I was going to say is that Knob Creek 12? It's It can't be. It's like it's not... He doesn't have those other notes. David Smith, Trev, that hits home. <laughs> Dudes, we'll be watching Escape from New York tonight. Um, my yard is definitely better than yours, and I'm not married. My backyard looking good. My front yard's looking crap again. But just wait, mother sucker. This weekend, I'm taking the real mower out in the back. All right. And that grass gonna be freaking this tall and freaking perfect in green. Just freaking wait. You don't stand a chance. You're done. I already put, already put, um, already put, already fertilized it. Put some humichar down. No big deal. Whatever. Spicy. Spicy. Not high proof. Spicy. I might have a guess. 
the problem is, is I want to guess one of our picks, but then my I feel like then my my score is going to be judged. Like if it's if I guess, oh yeah, that's one of our picks, and then I give it like clearly what it deserves, a hundred out of a hundred points, you would say it's rigged. But it couldn't be that. It is. It's like, dang, it's good. It's like. I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking it is, is the cease and desist. Is what I'm thinking it is, but I'm not sure. I thought I thought the cease and desist was a little more rye. And what I'm getting right now is just the spiciness, which may might be coming from the rye. It's spicy though, like cinnamon spice. Proof wise, I mean, it could line up. It could line up with that. I mean, it's it's over a hundred, but it's like not. It's not over. It's not under. It's not over one hundred and fifteen. Like it's in that range, I think. What is cease and desist? Isn't it something like that? It might be lower than hundred. How is it our pick? I don't even know. I'm thinking though. That's this is what it's drinking like. I will say that it's drinking like it's a, like 105 ish, 105, 107. Uh, a spirited life. Put some cumin char down. Cuma char, dude. It might be made with cumin. I don't know. Yeah, we're giving a high and tight to my grass. Wish I could find a Knob Creek 12. They show up here and they'll disappear, then they'll show back up. It's like we get a case of them and they sit there until they're gone. We used to sit on bar stools acting like darn fools, and now we had. Is that not a song? Is that not a Morgan Wallen song? Like a darn fool. At the bar stool, like a darn fool. That's a, that's a Morgan Wallen song. Something like that. I just got a Blackstone if we want to go there. Oh, <laughs> you know, my girl came from a dude in the neighborhood who was throwing it away. It's all about, it's the man behind the grill, not the grill. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not the weapon, it's the man behind the weapon. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the touch. It's these right here, baby. What's up, Mr. Fulton Raz? Hello, on, a, on Tuesday night, I was tracking my speed for my track practice, and I was running into a tree, and my knee is bleeding, my leg is still bleeding, and my stomach is still bleeding. What? Seeing Morgan Wallen and Branson next month. We we try we're trying to win tickets to that. <laughs> Season assist is one hundred and one point three. Well, then I'm gonna write that down because that might be what it is. Um, I will say, just I don't like giving anything too high of a score. That was so much better than A. Um, I'll give it a tentative. I think it's at least a ninety. That one's really good. Whatever it is. I would even venture, I will go ahead and say, just compared to the other ones, I would say maybe the max I would give it is a 92. Because I don't want to go too high or too low. Then not. I want to put it out in the universe, so I'm not just like making it up later. I would say 92 is probably the max. Very good. B is very good. I liked it a lot more than A. Alright, let's go to C. A lot lighter. Look at that. Oh, I was like, why is that backwards? What's up, Cheech? 
Hit that like button, folks. We got Malort to drink tonight. What's up, Hollywood? I ain't got time to bleed. Yeah, Mr. Fulton, um... It is but a flesh wound. Hollywood, I hope you had a good week, man. We're here. Charlie Daniels. What's up, Ron Wells? Late? Get something in your glass, brother. I don't know what that could be. It's smelling... A lot lighter. I did get a bit of acetone. Mm, there's something weird about that. Almost fruity. Like a... Maybe that's rye? I don't know. Sugar Kitty! On to my cease and desist, which for the record, did not love cock. <laughs> Peter White picked up a backup Rebecca Queek. I everyone go ahead and say Rebecca Creek three times fast. Rebecca Creek, Rebecca Creek, Rebecca Creek. Rebecca Queek. It's got me every time. I've said Rebecca Queek. Spanish oak barrel proof, just in case they go away. Who's some Rebecca Queek? All right, let's try this sucker. No clue what this. I there's nothing indicating what this is. I have no idea. I'm like, I'm not even having to look what that could be. It's very light. It doesn't drink like high proof. I was almost going to say that like light whiskey, but really nothing... I feel like I don't have anything that light in color. What could that be? It's very interesting. Hmm. It's not like I feel like there's something off there's something weird about this one. Hold on, let me give you the taste I, because I'm kind of I'm just confused. It's almost like there's got to be something off. I'm not I'm saying off. There's something different about this where it's got to be like a a boo rye, or it's got to be. There's something about this that is making it very confusing. Holy freaking crap! It's Steven the Claw. Old Claw! It's not Elmer T. Lee. There's something. There's something about this. Could it be finished? If it's, here's the thing, it's light. Everything about it is light, it's drinking light. It's 
it's mm. I don't know what it could be it's almost drinking like it, it, even the um the 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 palate like the proof everything about those it's it can't be the Tom the Thomas S Moore's very prevalent finish it's in your face this is light delicate it's it's drinking lower proof hmm. The proof might even be drinking like. It could almost even be like sub 90 proof. You know? Like. There's, I can't figure out what, I don't know if, I, if, if anything, I want to lean towards that it's like boo ride. There's just something off with that. I'm just going to say off. Light. Sub 90. I, it's just drinks. Traveler? I do have the Traveler. Could that be what that is? It, might, it very well could be. Like, there's something about it. It's just so... It drinks like it's like 80 proof. Is the Traveler 80? It's sub 90. <laughs> like, that, that was my answer. Sub 90. But then it was like, what else could, what else could it be? Mm. Well, shoot, the Traveler's Canadian. Maybe that's what I'm getting. I wouldn't have gone, see, I, now that we're saying Canadian, I could definitely see that. Um, the first two things that I said, the first two things that I said was light and acetone. I always get acetone on um, Canadian stuff. The cheap Canadian stuff. That's a good guess. I wouldn't have gone there. I'm going to write it down. So I think that's a really good guess. But I don't know. I still, I don't, I have not drank that bottle that much. I did the video on it. I filmed the review. And that was like the last time I tried it. Had to relocate to the backyard. Got a fire. Hey, heck yeah. Probably Buffalo Trace Hancock. There's there's no way. This was too... There was just something different about it. That was like... I don't think that's just bourbon. Like, I, I kept wanting to... I was thinking Burai. And then I started thinking, well, is that Redwood Empire? No. That stuff tastes way... Like, this really... I would almost give this... Like, on a score, so... Glass A, I said 75 out of 100. B, I said 90 out of 100. I would give this one like... It's not bad. But it's also just not good. Like, it's just... It's just there. I'm gonna give it a... Like, okay, so that would mean... To me, that's a 50. 50 out of 100. It, it, it's not gross... But it's also not good. Caribou. Like caribou. Wild turkey long branch in my glass starting the evening off. Slow at 86 proof. The Traveler Whiskey is not good, says BL Brewing Co. I would concur. And it's too much money. Cease and desist. There's no way. If this is one of our picks, I, I'm sorry. 
There's no way it is, though. None of our picks are that low. That is low proof. Going back to the glass, there's almost nothing there. I'm just gonna... I don't know. I'm gonna give it just... I'm, I'm gonna go... I'll just call it 80. I mean, it's so low. 80 proof. Light. Off. Little fruity. Little light. A lot of acetone. 50. 50 out of 100. That needs to go back to the drawing board. I really like, um, I like that answer, the Traveler. I would not have, that you guys, I think I walked you guys into that. That's what I like this. I like you guys guessing because I think you're, you guys have guessed. You guys have guessed that you, I'm going with your guess on glass A and now I'm going to go with it on C. Oh, and I, I guess I am because I'm also going on B. It's probably cease and desist or something. Something good. Yeah, I think Traveler's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. If it's not that, let me put this. If it's not that, maybe it's like, um, like Basil Hayden. But then again, like, there wasn't that much, there wasn't nuttiness to it. So that's why I'm like, it can't be that. I don't have many 40 proof freaking things, and that's how that drank. It's what really threw me off. Let's go to D. Steven says going simple over here, Russell's 10. Hey, Steven, wasn't it? It was you who turned me on to the um Russell's 10 rare breed blend. Right? That's a good one, folks. It's a good one. Katie Turk, the better of Turks. What's up, Katie? Get on in here, friends. Get something in your glass. I'm on glass D of this blind. This has been pretty good. She did pretty good at grabbing some random crap. They've all been drastically different. And I think we're doing pretty good. You guys have definitely helped me. I think we're doing pretty good. I, I feel so. Smack that like button. Let's get them likes up, baby. Go tell your friends. What friends? We're all your friends. All your friends are already here. There we go. Back to more familiar territory. We're moving back up. We're not. We're not in failing grade anymore. Definitely, it's already, just by nose alone, I can say that's it's probably around 100 proof. It's not too hot, but yeah, it's it's enough. Coming off of Glass C, but that's a pretty good guess. Kind of, kind of, there's a little nutty thing again. A little more chocolatey and nutty. Chocolatey, nutty. But not too much. It's not enough for me to like be, oh, well, it's clearly Heaven Hill or whatever. There's nothing definitive. Back to a more normal color. I'm going to have to go back to that. Something just happened in my mouth. Something just happened in my mouth. And I don't know what it was. It almost was like tasted finished, but... There was something weird up front. But then it went back into that chocolatey, nutty thing. Huh. This is difficult. Hmm. I 
I'm still liking my 100 proof guess. It's not too much. It's not overly nutty, though. There is a nutty characteristic. Hmm. I was in a store today with a manager who told me that Basil Hayden malted rye was one of his favorites. Do you trust him? I Basil Hayden should not exist. I'm with Will. But I, when I'm president, Basil Hayden's gone. If we can keep Basil Hayden, we put new juice in it. You know, it's like it's gonna be different. We're changing the game. And thirty dollars cheaper. And if you don't comply, then you're going to prison. Any underlying caramel or floral notes? Are you going, are you trying to go with like a Four Roses? I was kind of thinking that too, Steven, but like, really battling with that like even looking I'm looking at what I got and nothing's really jumping out Really nothing, nothing's jumping out. Like I still single the single barrel. I just I feel like it's it's too much. There's there's not enough of the florally thing going on for, for me to want to call it four roses. And that was my last sip. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of liking... I'm going to stick with, like, the 100 proof guess. None of these have been too high of proof, I don't think. I really don't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to be... To guess this one. i definitely vote for Trev over the two main options being presented. I mean, come on! I'm your president, y'all. <laughs> Everyone is off on Fridays. What's up, Mr. Jigs? Got that Woodenville rye pick in the glass. There we go. That store manager was a Zima drinker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to guess that one. Could that be the James? Oh, I'm out. I was gonna say, could that be the James E. Pepper? But I don't. Mm. I don't know. I, I I really don't have a bottle guess. I'm gonna give it though. It's de it was definitely. I liked it better. A lot better than A. Not as much as B. Blow C out of the water. It might be like. I kind of want to give it like an 85. I mean that's it was good. Eighty-five out of a hundred. I would bump it up like the max it could do. Uh, maybe like an eighty-seven. Give it a curve, you know, a grading curve. Is good, but I don't know. Is the chocolatey nutty thing really wanted me to think that it was Knob Creek or something? But it can't be, and it was not high enough proof to be larceny.
I don't know. I'm like literally looking. Evan Williams single barrel. It could be. I have that Evan Williams. Watch that be freaking Evan Williams. What if we got him mixed up? What if A was Evan Williams and D was Heaven Hill? We went with A as Heaven Hill bottled in mind. What if we got... Hey, I, I, I said what I said. I by At this point, I like that better. I like D better. Go figure. I like the D, you know? Huh. That could be a good guess. It could very well just be Evan Williams or vice versa. I'll write Evan Williams down right here. And it very well, maybe we got him mixed up. Evan Williams of some sort. That would be a good guess. Any of them. We'll just go with Evan Williams. Because I don't want to guess. I do have a couple. I have several L Evan Williams. That might be the single barrel. I mean, I like that. I like that guess. Because I did guess 100 proof, and the Evan Williams single barrel's less. But it's just... I feel like I feel like D is just definitely better than like Evan Williams bottled and bond. But it's not too far out there. I think that's a great guess. I think that's a great, great guess. Um, let's find out what these are, shall we? I will say the results, my favorite was B. Glass B was clear, my favorite. Um, the more I drank A, it kind of went down, but um, second place was D, third place was A, it drank itself down into its score. And then clear as day. Not a chance. C was the was the worst one. That uh, that's it was it doesn't even stand a chance against any of these bottles. There's no way. There's no way. So hopefully that's not one of our barrel picks and I'm talking it into the, its grave. But that bottle, not good. It's all I mean it's just it's just there. You know? So um, let's find out what these are, and I'll probably drink some of them once I find out what they are. Um, where did she write them? Alright. Alright, you guys ready? <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey! She did not write the proofs on one of these, and that's kind of shocking. We're going to have to figure this out. Um, let's go. Since I see what they all are, are, all are, let's go in order of least favorite to favorite. Last place. Last place. Andrew, we're going to... I've already looked at them now. But one of these, I am gonna have to pour it to see if that's the one it was, because she didn't specify, and I had I. I'm questioning. Like we're gonna have to figure that one out. Um, what we don't have to figure out is last place. Last place was by far the worst. It was 50 out of 100, because that was being me being nice. Thank God it wasn't one of ours. It was light and it was acetone. I said it was off. One of you said it was Traveler Whiskey, and one of you are correct. That was freaking Traveler Whiskey. Don't buy it. Just do not buy that bottle. Period. F it. F that bottle. Too much money. It's too much money. It's 40 bucks. 40 bucks for a 50 out of 100? That ain't it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Good freaking call on the Traveler Whiskey. Awesome. It's insane. 
Um, third place was A. I said it was Nutty Peanut Butter Cracker Jack. I immediately said Heaven Hill, and I put a little star next to it. One of you said Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, and I said, Absolutely, freaking, that's gotta be it. Or it could be Ezra 99. It was what you said. A, third place, Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. I gave it a 75 out of 100. I almost, like, the first sip and taste, I was like, oh, that's like an 85. Then I took a sip again, and I was like, that's an 80. I took a third sip, and I'm like, it's a 75. It got worse as I drank it. And also, that was the first four, so maybe it was that. CC Polo Man! What's up, CC? How the heck are you? So, hey, two for two. And I'm here to tell you that's where it ends. Because we couldn't have been more wrong about these other ones. You guys ready? Third place goes to D. And I might have to go get this one. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the last two. Because I, I I gotta so I gotta see. Glass D, I called it chocolatey and nutty. Now, knowing what it is, knowing what it is, if you guys go back, did I not say... I did say... I said it almost had a finish. Right? I said that. And then the more I kept going back to it, I never went back to saying it was finished. And that was it. I should have just went with my gut, because there was something weird about it the first sip that I was like, that's freaking finished bourbon. It is a finished bourbon. We went with Evan Williams. It's not close to Evan Williams. I said 100 proof. I was cool with it being a little lower. It is a little bit lower. Glass D. Again. She picks right here. Easy. It is 48.9. High West American Prairie, and it's a barrel pick that I've had for a long time. I'm just, it's so good. I love this bottle. Um, it's finished in Macvin. Macvin. And I'm going to pour it in the same glass that it came out of, so there's no discrepancy. I don't even know what Macvin is. See, look, I'm about out. If any of you guys can find, like, a cool finish High West... Like something like a Macvin or something weird. I'd be interested. Because mine's about gone. It's crazy. Like, in a blind, it's that's hard to say that that's even finished. I think it adds a darkness to the High West that throws you off from, for one, you're not even going to guess it's High West. And two, I think you might just guess it as a good bourbon. Right? But when I say good bourbon, I'm like, man, that's got to be... It's something. Um, something I'm used to. Like an Evan Williams single barrel that's really good. Like... Yeah, I don't... Macvin. I don't... I don't even know what that is. But I would not... You don't smell it and think it's finished. I will give myself credit. The first sip, I'm telling you... I said there was something weird about that. That was like, it was grapey. But. It's easy to overlook. That was a good one. That's a good one to throw in a blind. Um, you can really talk yourself out of that being finished. I gave it an 87 out of 100. That's some good stuff. Um, I really like that. Macman. Whatever Macman is. I'm about to, what is Macman? Macman. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, right here is Macman.
Macvin de Jura. Macvin wine produced in the Jura region of Eastern France. So it's a very specific wine. Macvin's where it comes from. So is the wine Jura? Or is the wine the grape Macvin? Well that one, this this barrel says Macvin Blanc. Macvin de Jura. Huh. Very interesting. It's a dessert wine, Macvin du Jura. What's up, Mike Meyer? Viper Candy! I West Cast Strength is good bourbon. I agree with that, brother. I think the finish adds that desserty thing like I was going like this chocolatey dark thing that was reminding me that I get on like a good I don't know catch you next week when the other half and I will be out cruising cheers buddy hey heck yeah hey hit me up dude you know I love drunken Steven on a freaking cruise ship <laughs> heck yeah dude yeah it's gonna be a freaking blast Grape based liqueur, technically. Ah, debut added. I don't know what that means, dude. All right. Let me finish that. And then we'll find out what my favorite bottle of the night was. And again, we are going to have to go over there, grab the bottle, and taste it because. I was big off. We were big off. Some of the notes I wrote down make sense looking back on it. But some of the other notes I said don't make sense. So we're gonna have to try out. We'll have to see. We will have to go see. Yeah, it's good. This is a great bottle. You guys ready? My favorite bottle of the night. First sip, I called it super cherry. Very cherry. Medicinal, even. And then it turned into oaky, burnt, spicy, cinnamon, delicious. I said 107 proof. I gave it up to a 92 out of 100 good. I call it our barrel pick. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> this is what I gotta go and see what she means. It's got. There's. It's the only one. It's the front and center bottle. So it's got to be that. Old Forester single barrel? 131? I called it 107. So that, that was glass B. So I'm gonna pour it into the same glass that it was in. There's just no way. It's so, like, it's clear. I don't know, man. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. She wrote old four single barrel.
Could it have been this one? Could it have been this one? Could it have been this one? And I don't... It, I, it might be this one. It might be this one. Pour a little bit. I'm safe. I'm hanging on to this sucker, man. This is from this is from years ago. Popping bottles in the ice like a blizzard. When we drink, we do it right. Getting slizzard. Right. Now I'm feeling so fly like a G6. Yeah, you can tell I don't listen to that kind of music. It was the hunt. It's got. It's the hundred proof. It's the hundred proof. I'm getting cherry. <laughs> we got it. It's the hundred proof version. So I wasn't too far off. I wrote down a hundred and one point three because I was going with cease and desist. I gave it a ninety two. Yeah, that, that that's definitely the hundred proof. That is no way. I mean, for one, look how look at the color difference. Well, you know, on my camera, if it makes everything darker. You guys complain. You can tell. There, because I was like, there's nothing we, there's no way that was 131 that I'm smelling. This is 131 proof, my single barrel barrel proof. No, that is very, <laughs> that's very barrel proof. Mmm, I don't remember that being so cherry. It, it, even now, like that's still very cherry. Dude, that's it. It was this one. This is good. Holy crap. Burnt oaky. You know what I'm getting on it now is almost like a burnt. I'm getting in that marshmallow thing, like you light it on fire. That's the only way you're supposed to eat marshmallows. Let it engulf in flame. Like it's it's like make your make your freaking marshmallow look like it's re-entering orbit. Okay? It's coming in. Orbit. And then you eat it. That's this is warehouse six floor seven. And I had I've had this bottle for since our snow apocalypse and i think that was i don't know when that was several years ago some of you guys were there i was snowed in for like two weeks that's freaking good that is good um if any oh, here's another thing so while you're out there looking for me a high west if you find any of these 100 proof ones i will take them Find me more. That is delicious. God dang. Now there's no way it's as good as this one. I'm telling you that now. They they Woo! Um, yeah. Two out of four. I think we did pretty good. That was a fun blind. She did pretty good. She did pretty good. That just goes to show I underestimated her that. She had to move several bottles to get that one. And I didn't think she had it in her. Really didn't think she did. The tongues, the Tunguska Marshmallow. Well, let's drink some Old Forester and chat, baby. That was it. That was a blind flight. Now we do whatever we want for the next... 
30 minutes. And then I'm ending it. We can't be doing another six hour live stream. Last Friday, we went for six hours. We're ending in 30 minutes. It's <laughs> too. I went live last night and we're, we're ending in 30 minutes. So go ahead, let's go. Dr get something in your glass. Let's talk about some old Forester. We'll drink whatever we want for the next 30 minutes. I'm gonna enjoy both of these suckers. Um, I, I, it's Is it weird that I wanna drink the Barrel Proof first because of how good this one is? It's like, I'm telling you, the 100 Proof version I have right here is so much better than my Barrel Proof version. It's not even close how good that is. Exceptional. That is an exceptional bottle. Any new collection videos coming? Um, I have so many freaking collections. Um, I will throw it in the mix for sure. I have two videos recorded. Um, the collection, the collection videos, they take me a matter of just talking. So I'll do, I'll do a couple more of those too. That'll be fun. I gotta get through them. I have so many. I missed last night, so that buys us another hour. No, absolutely not. Hit the like button. We're not at 100 yet, people. Don't be a quitter. Let the night develop. I might play some video games tonight, so if anything, I will play, um, if anything, I will stream on my other channel. Let me, let's hope this doesn't shoot this, turn my thing off. Um, I have another channel here. I copied it. If anything, I'm going to stream over here. So go subscribe to that channel. Probably drink some beer. Play some games. I've been streaming, so I'm going to start streaming on that channel every Wednesday. Only for... It is not... Bourbon Wrench content, it's totally separate, so. We just hang out over there on Wednesday. Or whenever I do it. Now you owe her an apology. I'll tell her she did good. She did good. I will say, out of the four, she only moved one set of bottles to get to the other one, okay? All the other ones were just right there. You just, we didn't grab it. Opens a monster. Let's go. Old Forester King Ranch in the glass. Old Forester King Ranch is is one Old Forester I've never tried. What do you guys think of that one? What even is that? Isn't King? Isn't that like a car? It's like a truck? What the heck? What is that? What's up, Odyssey Rider? No late tonight, bro. We're here. Get some in your glass. Pour you something right now, and then go to sleep, bro. Nightcap. Janelle says she did solid. What's up, Copper Wolf? Let's go, Wrench fam. Let's go. Wake up, people. Come on. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Because this synth music that I'm playing is Chill Wave. And the one I played before this was Heavy Dark. So that's what we're doing. We're going back to the Heavy. We're going back Heavy. Let's get Heavy. Here we go. Let's do... Let's, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, and then type in heavy. Heavy. Oh, dude. Evil Dead? Yeah. 
King Ranch is the largest ranch in the U.S. What the heck? Drink some black and to no more likes. If 10 more people hit that like, we don't malort in all our faces. It's a working cattle ranch. Huh. Yeah. I just drink and go to work, dude. I don't know cattle ranches in Texas. But then why, why, why is there a whiskey named after it? Right? And hey, there we go. Cheech being the freaking legend he is. Hey, seriously. Patrons who are Patrons, we've got the stuff. We we are in the works. I've been slacking on the merchandise because, hey, the wedding and all that crap ain't cheap. And then tax season hit me. We're going to get that stuff going because I'm you're way overdue for the next batch. And barrel picks. We got a lot of barrel picks coming. Really cool freaking crap coming. Uh, so I'm so stoked. Also, I forgot, I keep forgetting to do this. It's pretty close to selling out. Um, we're doing an in-person Nerds and Turds meetup thing at Cat's Eye Distillery in uh, Bittendorf, Iowa. At Cat's Eye. Um, I posted a thing in Patreon a few weeks back, so scroll down if you're interested. Um, I know it's in the middle of nowhere. I have to take several flights just to get there. Way out there. So, but that'll be fun. And it's almost sold out. A lot of people are already coming. I think we capped it at like 24 people. And it's, there's like, there might be four spots left or something. Four, six, somewhere in there. A lot of people have signed up, so. What's up, Barrel and Bottle? Next round of Wrench merch is re-gifted wedding presents. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely gonna do... Um, so I, I gotta tell you guys a story. Um, one of the merchandise items is probably gonna be another frosted glass. Um, I usually do, like, for the top tier dudes, I usually do, like, a secret, like, a bonus glass, so they'll get, like, two glasses. I don't know, I, I've been dabbling, maybe I should do, like, a frosted glass for just the whole roundabout. All that's a debate. What's not a debate is that the only frosted glass that I have was my frosted glass and I brought that sucker to my own wedding. And it may have flown out of my hand. And exploded. So. I'm like, F it. We doing a frosted glass. I need more frosted glasses, baby. <laughs> It, it might may have. It definitely, like, I was, and here's the thing, I, at that, when it flew out of my hand, I, it was like I was walking back. I was walking to get more whiskey. So it, it wasn't like I was screwing around. I was walking, and it, like, I don't know if I was just walking aggressively. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember if someone bumped me. All I know is it launched. It launched forward out of my hand and I just was like watched it die I was so upset there's no better video game than Smash Melee stream gameplay on Slippy and the entire whiskey tube will be behind you seen still strong after 20 years what is that Anthony Pranta what is that? I'll have to look that up. I'll freaking, I'll slap all of you guys. Let's go. 
Drinking some Maker's 46 cast rank. There we go. Is it the new one? Got my Malort just, just in case. It jumped. It jumped out of my hand. It wanted to die. What's up? Life from the patio. Cheers. A little late. Suicide Glens. <laughs> For the BJ Night Stalker 1. It's good. Also really hot, but in a good way. Kind of like you, Andrew. Mortal Kombat 1 on PS5. I need a Darth Glenn Tally Drams with a super chat. Ah. Oh. $50 super chat. Dude. Gally. I I might have one for you, bro. Like, come on, man. At this point, you've more than paid for one. Give me a text, brother. I'll see. I'll have to do inventory. What's up, corn and mother friggin' whiskey? I love it when Trev dabbles. Broken glass at the wedding is good. Emily, mother friggin' chambers for one. I love you. Two. Is that good luck? One second. Callie Drams, you're freaking. I gotta go fix this. Your fireworks were off. Alright, I saved this uh, old Forster 100 for you because it is so good. Yeah, that is amazing. So that would be under Super Chat. How did I fix this last time? I had to fix this last week. Let me play that again. It's off-centered. There it is, there it is. I don't know how that happened. There we go. That should be it. Do it again. No changes detected. There we go. There we go! No, dude, I'm not Jewish, man. I can't yell that, right? Isn't that a Jewish thing? Mazel tov. It's they, they, don't they do that? They like throw a, 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 a bag of glass and they step on it. So I basically did Mazel tov. I'm good. Now. Now I feel like I gotta fix everything. Let me check, um, like you go to subscribers. Nope, it's good. Yeah, we're good, we're set, we're all good. I know what a Molotov is. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jeffrey? Lurker checking in solo dad duty night, watching bottles while listening to the stream. Dude, I, dude, I feel you, bro. I feel you, man. I, I, I feel you, man. Um, Seltzer Dan. Man. 
He's got that new dad life. Oh, what is this? Wilmington. Testing. 20... To Wilmington. I literally just got a... I was like, what is that? I just got on my phone. I've missed your fireworks, bro. Fireworks! All right, Cali Drams. Pick my pour. Let's go. What do you want? And then I want Wilmington. Pick my other pour. They're not going to be full pours. I just pick them. Let's go. Redwood Empire, dealer's choice. Say no more, brother. Say no more. Say no more. Please say no more, brother. I Look at this. Oh, this song is nasty. Dust. Bro, what is this? This is sick. Haystack needle. I gotta be careful with that crap. I'm not out. <laughs> The Jewish people and the Greek weddings mandate breaking glass symbolism. Hope in eternity. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to, like, save this crap. This is sick. Here, I'm going to favorite this. favorites <laughs> this song is sick dude trev you listen to lorna shore absolutely to the hellfire <laughs> josh fritz you know do, do you guys know i used to be in a death metal band i used to scream in a death metal band Oh yeah, I do. I do that crap offline, bro. I ain't doing that here. <laughs> I'll see. Um, I did a vocal cover. Um, Josh, I did a vocal cover of the song "Eternal Refuge" by Whitechapel, and uh, I mean, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> If there was a pinch harmonic right there, that would be sick. Anyway, let's do this. Just poured some Cooper's Craft to get my, my night started. Let's go. Do you own any vinyl? I actually do have a vinyl player and um, some vinyl records. Um, I have a bunch of... They're not like old school vinyl. Um, I have a bunch of like Memphis Mayfire vinyls. Um, I used to just collect random bands I used to listen to. It's been a while, Andrew. I will be honest. Man, I haven't touched the drum set in a while, but I still got it, man. You can't lose. It's like riding a bike. The only thing that suffers, I think, it, for me at this point in the drums is not my ability to play. It's like my stamina to play. Um, like my calves start cramping. It's like things you don't use unless you're drumming. There's like 
tendons and crap that you just don't really stress that much if you're not playing all the time. So when I go back and play the drums, I know what I'm playing, but it's like I almost can't because like my forearms will just cramp like I flick. I hold the drumstick and I'm flicking. And when you flick, it's like all of this is that's all you're using in it just cramps up. Um, and then you're my probably my Achilles, I guess, like the very lower part of my leg cramps. I mean, I will like I can't do it. I'll be playing fast. Like, I can't play double pedal that fast. Or... I don't know. I feel like Josh Fritz about to have a revelation, bro. I don't think Josh Fritz has ever seen... The Bourbon Ridge. I feel like a lot of you haven't. I'll, I'll go ahead. Let me... I'll post one of my drumming videos over here. Because I feel like a lot of you do not know this side of me. Some of you do. A lot of you have been here. Um, let me go Patreon playlist. Patreon videos. I mean, I guess we could play it right now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What song is this? This is Exile? I played This is Exile, Decimate the Week. Ooh, this is, I like this one better. Vicer Exciser. A little bit of White Chapel, let's go. A little bit of White Chapel, let's go. <laughs> Hey, there we go, people. Here we go, guys. Um, this is where monetization is off. YouTube is done. I always knew Trev was a beat off. Let me know if it's too loud. Mmm, what's up, Bourbon Wood? Good evening, whiskey friends. Like, I'm myth playing now. Here we go, here we go. Man, the lyrics of this song are so bad. That drum have stag in it. What's crazy is stag is like the cheapest of cheap drum sets. Like they're it's so cheap. Yet I've had those drum those drum heads for like 15 years. Never changed them. Like they sound good. We're just gonna go straight in to Little Devil Wears Prada.
Yeah, so there you go. Now you guys know. There we go. Sorry to scare you all off, but... Um, Wilmington, I need a pour from you, brother. Um, I just finished a very delicious Cabernet Sauvignon finished bourbon whiskey aged 12 years. If you didn't know about Dickie Betts passing, raise a glass to a legend. April 18th, so yesterday. The Almond Brothers Band. Super Provers or your pick of makers? No, brother. Dang, Cheech just sent me a picture of his drum set. It's way... Clearly, the dude's a professional drummer. It's way nicer than mine, bro. What is that? Can't read that. It's way nicer than mine, though. Dude, your, your kit is way nicer. Super Proofers? You guys want Super Proofers? <laughs> Say no more, brother! He said, how about... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wilmington, bro, I'm already, I'm already hyped. You don't want, you're telling me you don't want 142.8 proof? Is that what you guys are telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, this is the closer. We're closing it out hardcore. And then, yeah, I'm, we're definitely going to go play some video games after this. Um, I probably won't, like, continue drinking drinking. I do so much better at video games when I'm not drinking. Crazy. Who would have thought? Better step it down to 132, or 130 Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Go ahead and kill the bottle. Duke McHale, you want me to die? Kill the bottle, he says. Kill the bottle. Okay, guy. I love how... I love how... Oh, wait, wait. I was just gonna call Josh Fritz out because I was like, how did how did I play those drum videos for Josh Fritz? He didn't even say anything. But he did. I missed it. Josh Fritz, I, I apologize, brother. Come on, man up, brother. We only we need seven more likes, bro. If you want some freaking, I'm drinking hazmat, but if we want, I have I have more fun drinking and playing COD. Love shooting RPGs at campers. <laughs> I get rum and coke from Super. I can honestly see the whole the. I don't know about the coke thing. I get the rum, but then again, there is this was aged in rum and maple. I don't even really know, like, to be honest, I I barely even talk about that, that this was finished in maple barrels, but I think the maple and rum kind of give it, like, a rum and coke vibe. Very boozy. Tony, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna hand deliver you a sample of Malort and piss. It's the same thing. You won't even tell which one's which. <coughs> Trev, new M10 Booker. M10 Booker? Hold on, it might... Bro, I might be a little tipsy. What is... So this... So it's a new tank, huh? Because that's what pops up. So this is... 
What, is this supposed to replace the Abrams? I have, I have to... Bradley? This looks like an Abrams. I'll have to... I, I'll do some research into it. I'll watch some videos on it. I have not heard about this, to be honest. I did not know we were getting something new. It looks more like that. Dude, that's got to be the Abrams. Not a Bradley. I wonder what they what they changed about it. Huh. Very interesting. D dude, I If that's replacing the Bradley, I mean, are we Now here's the di here's the thing here. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. That looks like a replacement to the Bradley, right? But then what is this? They keep saying first American light tank. That doesn't look like a light tank. This looks like it would be replacing the Bradley. That's Bradley. That's got the freaking 25 millimeter or whatever millimeter cannon that we have seen. By the way, there is footage of Bradley's. If you want to see what it look, what happens to human beings when that hits them, there is combat footage of Bradley's being used in the Ukraine war. Um, not for the weak of heart. It's pretty devastating. That's what that looks like. This looks like a freaking, maybe a faster Abrams, right? So, I'm guessing that's what that is. Probably just a huge platform that can have different turrets. Like it's the same body, maybe? I don't know. Because everything I see is, I mean, like, it's, I guess, light tank. But... This is the only picture that I've seen that looks like a Bradley replacement. That's a striker. That's what I drove. <laughs> That's a striker. Hmm. It's interesting. I haven't heard about it. <laughs> Wake up, people! A watermelon and sledgehammer 25 millimeter. Have any of you guys downloaded the app I told you to? It's not it's not good, but you need to. If you want to see some crazy stuff in the world, man. You ought to download that app. I'm trying, here's a fun fact. I'm trying to get so the guy who does, has that channel. Or he he's the um, host of that channel. He has he also does another channel, and we've been talking over there. I'm trying to get him to do like a barrel pick. So that would be really cool. Cause I you know I love the military stuff. He also just so happens to be into bourbon, but has no idea that whiskey tube exists. So that would be really cool to get him in on like doing a pick. Um. That'd be really cool. You, sh you guys, for one, should look up the channel he narrates for, then look up his, um... He also has a gaming channel. Um, but his app, the app is crazy. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think if we did a pick with him, it would be open to basically whatever they have. The app is called, um, Funker... 530. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the YouTube channel, too. Their YouTube channel's huge. It's like millions of views. Yeah, Bunker 530 on YouTube. They do live streams 
all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, all it's all military things. The app is all short videos. You need to definitely like if you download the app. I'm 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 just telling you guys, just in case you're not ready for it. Um, anything that's labeled in SFW. Be ready to watch anything from a little blood to people being completely killed on footage. So, it's brutal. Um, and they post, it's non-stop. All, all war footage is uploaded there. So, just know this going in. It's brutal. Anyway, Ronnie is the host of the live streams on Funker, and I've been in talks with him doing a pick. Even if it's not a Funker pick, you know, I don't know if, I don't think they would allow their 2.3 million subscriber channel to do a pick, but Ronnie would do a pick. So, he's in. I've already, every time I talk to him about it, he's in. So we just gotta get that set up. I think that'd be awesome. Like a military themed sticker, you know? Like maybe we get some ra ranger panties on us, you know? Malort version here too. Oh shoot, we got a hundred mother freaking likes. You can't unsee that stuff. Absolutely. That's why I'm warning you. I think it's I think it's necessary to um, understand war uh, war and stuff, but I'm telling you, you can't unsee some of that. It's brutal. Some of its app, some of the stuff I've seen on that app is like the absolute most brutal stuff I've ever seen. And somehow we have it on our at our fingertips. Crazy. Um. Cheers. <laughs> Freaking. We had 100 likes, baby. Jepson's Malort. Probably some of the best liquid to ever exist. I mean, you could have just pissed in my bottle. Who knows? What's up, Paul P? Late to the party, but better late than never. And then he says, huge! I know Paul P. Paul, you missed it, bro. Everyone was complaining. I had my... I had my... This was what my um setup was earlier. And, and no one, everyone's like, what the heck? I don't like it. They must not have been talking about this. There's no way. <laughs> oh. Ah. Just look at it. Oh. It was good. Not even bad. This stuff shouldn't exist. Wilmington. <laughs> ah, screw you, Wilmington. I'm sh you, you cool? You cool? I don't care. Wilmington Piper, folks. John, get some freaking my lord. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, so uh, I, I saw some of you. What I, I haven't found it. It must be allocated. This is like twenty bucks. It's like twenty freaking dollars. Um, 
and it's not everywhere. I can only really find this at, um, there's one store I know of that has this, which I feel like most places don't just don't want it. But there's one store I know that has this. Um, it's 20, it's $19. So is mellow corn the equivalent? No, absolutely not, dude. Mellow corn, like, is mellow corn good? We can all argue. We can all argue that mellow corn, it, you know, like, is it good? Is it not good? You know, I think it's good. Is it cheap? Does it, it tastes like, like cream corn or something. You know, it's like, what the freak is this? This is vile. There is, there is mellow corn, and then there is a vile. This is vile. This isn't, this isn't right. This is, this is an abomination, right? This is, this is disgusting. It's bitter. It's pissed. I would admit, I've never drank this. I bet you I would have the same reaction. Like, if I'm ever, like, if I'm facing death and I have to drink my own pee, I feel like this has prepared me. Like, I will not be as hesitant to drink my own piss. The Dickle Tabasco, here's the thing. That one's terrible. I also think I think you could take almost any, like you could take mellow corn or you could take, um, I don't know, take um, 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 basil Hayden and sprinkle a freaking, like put a whole bottle of tobacco sauce in it. It's probably the same thing. Like it's not that it's inherently like, this is meant to be disgusting. The Dickel Tabasco, I think just Tabasco mixed with the whiskey is what makes it, it just doesn't go. And it's disgusting. Um, Duke says, what about the pickle? Here's a here's another thing that I have to add to that, to the pickle. I've been eating a lot of like spicy pickles, um, spicy, um, what are those things called? I think the Super Proofers is here. What the freak are those called? Guys, the Super Proofers are killing, they kill, it, Super Proofers kills brain cells. Um. Okra! Oh my god! Okra! Pickled okra! Pickled okra! Spicy. So spicy pickles, spicy okra. I'm into it. Wicked pickle, the alcoholic beverage, should not exist. It is not good. I'll be right back. Oh, we're back, baby. Oprah? 
You get a car, and you get a car. Lee Bourbon Hunter. Dang, dude, that's freaking sick. I love when we just start rambling and we just start sending each other pictures of our wood. I just got another photo from Cheech. He might have sent that at the same time, but I just now got it. Dude, your drum set's sick. Is Also, is that in your kitchen? We sent an okra pics. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm re I'm killing this. I'm ending this stream, and then I'm ending ending the stream, and I'm starting the gaming stream on the other channel. I think this is it. So, again, it's we're gonna be playing with some other dudes. There's gonna be foul language. Um. I will say, let me post this, too. What's up, James? How the heck are you, man? Um, the music that we play tonight is this. Royalty-free. So sick. Like, that is, this is easily, I'm saving this crap. This is sick. Um, and matter of fact, I'm, I'm replaying this song. As we end this, because this is nasty. This song is, this song hits. Rick, I had two helpings of fried oak at, at once, my first in the lap. You didn't like it, brother? How much to crash the party at Cat's Eye on Friday? Bro, we can get you in. I'm saying that as I'm, I'm replying to you. We can get you in, dude. Just, just shoot me, um... You got my number right. Or do you just Facebook Messenger me? We'll get you in, dude. Um... And by in, I mean on Friday. Uh, you're in that area, right? Like, we have an Airbnb. We'll just... I'll just send you the link. Come on over. Cheers and good night, everyone. Smile tomorrow and make them wonder what you've been up to. Friendly reminder, Wrench Patreon meetup this fall. Dude, we, you guys are going to hold me that to that. We got to do it. Because we have no plans this fall, baby. Um, we're taking our summer vacation in June, which is ridiculous. Um, my bank account really hurts, but we have no plans, baby. No plans this fall. What time on Friday, Wilmington? Send me a message, dude. I'll, I'll see if I, I'll I'll see if we can get something set up on a Friday on that Friday. Mm-hmm. It depends on what time in, in, in Arkansas. Um, our fall really doesn't start until like November. You know, it's like late. Um, Cause it's hot. It, it stays pretty hot all the way up. I mean, it's like 90s through September. Um, so our fall really doesn't hit. Cheers. Hey, Philip. Cheers. Traveling for Kids Volleyball just got here. Hey, well, you're going to have to rewind, brother, and I think you'll have a good time. I would even say just rewind, like, 20... Rewind 30 minutes and have a pour, and you'll see drumming. You'll see Drunk Trev. You'll see Malort. Um, just rewind, bro. I think you'll have it, it was good we had a i had a fun time i had a real fun time oh, hey philip you might not be into video games so i would 
rather recommend you to rewind the stream, but I am about to start another stream on a different channel. So, we have that coming. It's pinned. It's the pinned comment. So, that being said, everyone, I'm wrapping this up. I'm going to pull up the, um, the other stream. Um, we'll have a, we'll have a pour or two more. I'm not going to drink too heavy. Say that. Link. This is not the stream to the channel or to the video because it's not made yet, but here it is. So cheers guys, love ya. Thanks for being here. Um, again, go be with your family, go sleep, go do whatever you do. Um, if you're into video gaming, then we better fire this up. So love ya. See you there or otherwise see you next week for a new video and new live stream.